For those of you who like to work with seashells, I'm going to give you a quick hint on a good type of glue to use. My quick tip for today is going to be which glue to use when gluing down seashells. Today I'm using a rustic type mirror for my display and as you can see I have a little bit of different shells in different sections just to give you an idea of how each would look. As you can see, you can use many types of shells. Here I have larger swirly ones, whereas here these are just basic oyster shells. You can also use sand dollars or any types of shells you might find along the beach or purchase at your local seashell shop. One of my favorite seashell shops is the one in Sail Beach, California and also the one located in Monterey, California. glues can be purchased at your local craft store like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or even your local hardware store such as Home Depot or Lowe's. When you're gluing your seashell, you want to take your hot glue, run it along the outer edge of your seashell which enables you to give it a quick hold but at the same time add your more permanent E6000 right along with it. You can just blend it in anywhere along the edges of the shell Turn your shell over, place it where you want it, and then just hold for a few seconds. The glue gun will help with the hot glue to hold it in place fast while the E6000 dries. Next, take your next shell. Next, take your next shell, decide where you want to place it, and do the same 
with that. A little bit of hot glue on the back, followed up with the E6000. And place it and hold. And then let dry. Shells can be glued to anything. They look really great when your project is done. For example, here I made a shell wreath. These shell wreaths are pretty pricey. I decided to make my own. One just like this is $68 at Hobby Lobby. Using shells that I found and a wreath that I purchased at a discount store, I was able to make this one for just a few dollars. First of all, the wreath was brown. I decided to paint it white to go with my decor and using the E6000 and my handy dandy glue gun, I glued the shells all around the inside and voila, this is what I came up with. I have to say, I really like it. Make sure to watch my videos to stay current here at The Current Mermaid. Check out my Pinterest for other ideas. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.